I've always, since the age of 13, been a fan of Flanders and Swan. I was lucky enough to see them in Coventry at the Belgrade. My dad was doing some stage fitting there. And uh, it was a brilliant, absolutely brilliant night. At that time, I was doing no music at all. Um, I, I then went on to join a, a rock band at school and we went all through the blues thing, you know. And then I was afflicted with folk music at the age of 18. But I've always, I've always sort of had a soft spot for Flanders and Swan songs. And the people who go to Harbury Folk Club know this because I bore them incessantly, you know. <laughs> this, a lot of their songs are absolutely unsingable now. You just can't sing about it. Things like, the English, the English, the English are best. I wouldn't give tuppence for all of the rest. Well, it's hardly PC, is it? You know, so, especially when it goes on to, to uh, describe the, uh, the, the Irishman, the Welshman, and Scott. You'll find he's a stinker as likely as not. That's how it goes, we can the singing out of This particular song has a, I think, a resonance because we're finally realising what damage we're doing to our environment. This is called The Bedstead Men. When you're walking through the country, far from villages or towns, when you're seven miles from nowhere and beyond, in some dark, deserted forest or a hollow of the downs, you may come across a lonely pool or pond. You'll always find a big brass broken bedstead by the bank. There's one in every lock and mirror and fan. Don't think it's there by accident, it's us you have to thank. The Society of British Bedstead Men. Oh, the hammer ponds of Suffolk and the dew ponds of the West are part of Britain's heritage, the part we love the best. Every England fish and mill pond has a beauty all can share, provided that it's got a big part's broken bedstead there. So we filch them out of attics, we beg them from our friends, we buy them up in auction lots with other pots and lands. Then we drag them across the meadow when the moon is in the sky. So watch the wall, my darling, while the bedstead men will die. The League of British Bedstead Men is marching through the night. A desperate and dedicated crew, under cover of the hedges, always keeping out of sight, for the precious load of bedsteads must get through. Oh, the society for putting broken bedsteads into ponds has another solemn purpose to fulfil. On our coastal sands and beaches, or we're waving willow wands, mark the borders of each river, stream, or rill. And you always find a single laceless left hand leather boot, a bootless British river banks a shark. We leave them there at midnight, you could track a member's route by the alternating prints of boot and sock. Oh, the lily ponds of Sussex and the dew ponds of the West are part of Britain's heritage, the part we love the best. Every even fish and mill pond has a beauty all can share, provided there's a boot, provided there's a boot. Provided there's at least one boot, three treadless tyres, a couple of McDonald's boxes, uh, an, an MFI mattress, you remember MFI, an MFI mattress with horrible stains on it. <laughs> a supermarket trolley, supermarket trolley from Tesco or Sainsbury's or Asta, but never.
Thanks, sir.